Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I posted a video last year in October about is it useful to use core isolation and turn on memory integrity in Windows 10 and 11, which both of those features are available in the Windows 10 and 11 operating systems. Now I will leave a link down below to that video if you're interested, as it will give you a lot more information regarding um, what I'm going to talk about today in this video. Now just to do a very quick recap, uh, if you go to your Windows Security app and then you head to Device Security, here you will see a feature called Core Isolation. And if you click on that, in Core Isolation, you'll get another feature called Memory Integrity. Now, just to summarize very quickly, Core Isolation is a security feature that protects uh, important core processes of Windows from malicious software by isolating them in memory. And memory integrity is a Windows security feature that makes it difficult for malicious programs to use low-level drivers to hijack your computer. Now this is basically an update video to that previous video and Microsoft has recently announced a new feature which is coming to the core isolation security feature uh, in the Windows security uh, Microsoft Defender app called Vulnerable Driver Block List, which is a new security feature um, rolling out for both Windows 10 and 11 uh, devices that protects against malicious or exploitable drivers. And if we go to a screenshot taken from that announcement, um, yeah, we can see in the core isolation security feature, there's another um, feature coming called Microsoft's Vulnerable Driver Block List um, that blocks drivers with security vulnerabilities from running on your device. Now this um, announcement by Microsoft was made over on Twitter regarding this new feature and all Microsoft says is new Windows security option enable more aggressive block list which includes vulnerable drivers and that was over on Twitter recently. Now uh, basically the uh, uh, Microsoft's vulnerable driver block list uh, is a new security feature that is enabled by default on Windows 10 that is running in S mode and on devices that have core isolation and the memory integrity enabled as I described in my previous video, which Microsoft may also refer to as Hypervisor Protected Code Integrity or HVCR for short. Now, memory, memory integrity or HVCR makes use of Microsoft's Hyper-V technology to protect Windows against malicious code. Now, a lot of the drivers that the vulnerable driver block list will block um, um, won't be blocked by default. I mean, there are a lot of drivers out there that don't have any uh, malicious code injected into them, but the drivers will have to have the following attributes to be blocked by Microsoft's vulnerable driver block list in the future when the feature starts rolling out. And some of these will be, um, the driver will have to have known security vulnerabilities that can be exploited, that's quite obvious. And then obviously it would have to have malware attached. And then another attribute it would have to have, it can be exploited by attackers to elevate privileges in the Windows kernel. So not all drivers are gonna be blocked, just as mentioned, drivers that have malicious code that has been injected into them. So this new feature will be rolling out and that will be on devices that run Windows 10 in S mode, as mentioned, and devices on Windows 10 and 11 with the HVCR core isolation memory integrity um, enabled and um, that will um, protect your device against security threats uh, once the feature is rolled out to devices and I will keep you posted once this feature does uh, uh, become available and as mentioned it's just for Windows 10 in S mode and for Windows 10 and 11 machines with core isolation and HVCR memory integrity enabled. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.